Hi, my name's Chris Rains. I'm the head of helicopter services for Inspire Limited. Uh, could you tell us about your simulator that's behind you? Yes, certainly. It's a target fidelity simulator. It's been designed to bridge the gap between a desktop flat panel variant and your full motion simulators. And it'll do basic flying, you can do a conversion course, learn to fly a helicopter on it and up to full mission. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't necessarily even be need to be helicopter. It's agnostic in that respect. It could be a fixed wing, could be a helicopter, could be a UAV. And it's been designed to be able to deliver training all the way from basic flying training all the way through to conversion to roll and then operational flying training as well. And you can link the link simulators for uh, full multi-aircraft mission? Well, this is the beauty of it. Because of um, the the more cost-effective nature of the device, then you're able to potentially purchase more of the devices, link them together, network, either in the same location or in actual fact disparate locations as well, and then provide um, collective training to either the same aircraft type or potentially different aircraft types. And the future? The future for the device as we move forward is to develop the fidelity. Whatever the customer requires, whether it be a very basic version or whether it be very in-depth, high fidelity um, to replicate a particular aircraft type, then that's what we'll be aiming to achieve. So it'll be a lot cheaper than a full dome, full multi-mission, uh, full access simulator? Yes, absolutely. Because we don't have the motion on the device, then a lot of the complexity and therefore cost is, is lost. Um, and so being able to purchase something which will deliver 90% of the training that a full motion simulator would deliver, but probably at about 10% of the cost, is something that would, I anticipate, be attractive to many, many different customers. Is that the advance in uh, technology that has allowed you to do that? I think so. I think uh, much of it was perception that um, motion was required in order to give the, the air crew the, um, the immersiveness or, or the feeling that they're actually flying the aircraft. But as technology has progressed, the visual system has progressed, and as you can see behind, the graphics are, are very real, then in actual fact you're able to do so without um, adding motion to the simulator.